Your iPhone is chocked full of more features than you will probably ever be aware of. But my goal is to help you discover as many of those features as possible. Hey guys, Rex here with iDrop News, and today I'm going through five pro tips for iPhone power users. So let's roll. If you consider yourself an iPhone power user, there are probably few things more important to you than battery life. And there are few things that drain your iPhone's battery faster than having a screen on. Face down detection is a nifty way to prevent your battery from draining while it is simply sitting on your desk. Normally, when your screen is face up, every notification, text message, and phone call lights up your screen for a while. Over the course of the day, this can obviously eat up quite a bit of battery. However, if you leave your iPhone face down, the screen will be prevented from turning on whenever you receive any sort of notification, which helps save up that battery life. Your iPhone will still make sounds and vibrate, so you will still be alerted to your iPhone's activity. There is also another little-known trick you can activate to alert you when your iPhone is face down. So this leads me to tip number two, which is activating the LED flash for alerts. In the Settings app, if you go to General, Accessibility, scroll down to the Hearing section, you will find the LED flash for alerts option. Tap on it and turn on the feature. Now, every time you get a notification, the flash next to your iPhone's rear-facing camera will blink. This is especially useful if you typically leave your phone on silent at work and find the vibrations don't always get your attention. So, maybe you like the idea of keeping your iPhone face down at work to conserve battery, but since you keep your phone on silent, you can't tell the difference between a phone call, a text message, or a Twitter notification. Well, tip three is for you. In the sound section of the settings app, you can choose different vibration patterns to differentiate between phone calls, text messages, and other general notifications. So, if you select ringtone, then vibration at the top, you can select from a number of standard vibrations or you can create your own custom vibration. The same applies for setting a vibration pattern for receiving text messages. Now, if you want to get even more granular, you can assign a custom vibration pattern to a contact just like you do a custom ringtone. Now you know when your spouse or significant other is calling, even if your iPhone is face down. All right, on to tip four. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's been in a meeting, a class, or sound asleep when my iPhone begins ringing or sounding a tone alerting me to a new text message. Heck, even a vibrating iPhone can be just as distracting as a ringing one. Now your iPhone's Do Not Disturb feature is perfect for these occasions. In the Settings app, go to the Do Not Disturb option and there you can schedule Do Not Disturb to activate nightly so you aren't disturbed while you're trying to sleep. But again, Do Not Disturb is also great for meetings and other occasions during the day. You can always activate it manually from the Settings app or even quicker from Control Center. And you don't have to worry about missing important emergency calls. In the Do Not Disturb menu, you can allow repeat calls from the same person to avoid missing emergencies. And you can always allow calls from anyone specific on your contact list if you prefer. Oh, and since it can be difficult to remember to turn on Do Not Disturb before a big meeting, I'd suggest setting up a reminder so that you don't forget. All right, the last tip I've got today is searching words or phrases on a web page. There have been many times where I Google a word or phrase only to have the web page open up at the beginning of a 2,000 word article. Well, if you're like me, you don't want to read through a massive article just to find that one nugget of information you were searching for. In Safari, there are a couple of ways to search a web page for a word or a phrase. You can either type it into the search bar and select the option below the On This Page section, but you can also select the Find On Page option from the Share Extension menu. Either way, this can be a big time saver when you're trying to track down a specific piece of info. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you learned something new. And as always, keep it logged right here to iDrop News for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.